Yeah, that's when we did the march um, <laughs> for the uh, uh, Martin Luther King. But right now, Baby the Musical. Mm. Tell me what the Baby the Musical, this is Bonnie Thomas, she's the director, mm -hmm. and we have our musical director back there as well. So let's talk about this play. Yeah, the show's about three couples in a college setting uh, as they deal with the painful, rewarding, and sometimes funny consequences of trying to conceive a baby. Uh, we have the 20-somethings, Lizzie and Danny, who are juniors at the college, and they're living in a underground flat and uh, discover that they're having a baby. Uh, the second is the 30-somethings, which is Nick and Pam. Uh, they're both uh, sports coaches at the college and they have been desperately trying to conceive a child. Then finally we have the 40-somethings, Alan who is an administrator at the college and his wife Arlene who are excited to know that their last child is graduating from college. Yay! But, but, but <laughs> after a night of unexpected passion find themselves <laughs> expecting again. <laughs> so. Well this, I mean so you have so many dimensions here that you're oh, looking yeah. at. Let's talk to first of all, I believe this is Travis. Yes. That's right, Travis. Uh, tell us about your part. I mean, what are you, man? What is this? Well, so, um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually Alan, the 48-year-old uh, um, administrator. So, okay, um, so Alan is your is your character. Yes. Oh, it said man, so I didn't. <laughs> no. Okay, so now we know it's Alan. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Alan is a very typical administrator. He he he's very much a by the books kind of person. Is this a typecast? Um, <laughs> no, not at all. Anyone who knows me personally knows I am not the most by the books kind of person. Um, but it, it's the struggle that he has with wanting to be a father again um, stems a lot from his relationship. And, you know, throughout the show, you see little snippets of that, um, which culminates in this beautiful duet between myself and Arlene um, about what love really is. Um, and you know how you love each other as a couple. Um, I think our struggle um, is very, very much about the fact that we never knew how to be anything but parents. Um, and I think that's our theme throughout the whole show. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. And now we have behind me. I have um, another actor, and you play Danny. Is that? I do. Yeah. Tell us about Danny. My well, da <laughs> go ahead, Danny. Well, oh, Danny well, is. Danny is a musician. Okay. And he is madly in love with Lizzie. Okay. That's a good that's a good start. Yes, and they um, they're having a baby. And Danny wants this to This is the unexpected one. It is. Yeah. It's unexpected because yeah. we're 21 and we're juniors in college and we're musicians. We just want to, you know, get our careers started, but we're having a baby. And and the way Danny sees it is we have to get married. We're having a baby. But Lizzie okay, is says your mic on? Yeah, your mic is on. Okay, good. Yeah, I did see the cord. Yeah. Lizzie sorry. says Excuse me. <laughs> she wants she doesn't want to get married. She wants to have the baby though. So, Danny struggles with that. But um, he agrees, he, and he, he's a musician. He decides he's going to go on, on tour with a, a punk rock band and make some money for his, for his child. And he comes back, and Lizzie is more pregnant. And he's changed. He's a little wiser. <laughs> and um, That's what happens. That's what you happens. Get a little bit more. She gets a little more pregnant. <laughs> but um, you can never be a little bit pregnant. <laughs> the, the, um, the music for this show, in particular, is just wonderful. It's fun to sing. Um, the um, the score is great, and that's what drew me to it um, in the first place. So it's something well, that fun. people will really enjoy. Okay. The music, if not not only that, the stories. You know, well, we're touching. Gonna go, we're going to go over to the musical director. Tell me about the music, because apparently these guys like it. They do, and it, that comes across so well. And the, the ensemble work of the, two, the uh, three couples just is magical. I mean, it is wonderful. Uh, lots of different styles of music in it, uh, uh, very singable. And we are also using, uh, doing something a little bit different and using our chorus as part of the orchestra. So really? instead of being you know, out on the stage, although some of them are from time to time because they have a special part and have to do that as well, but they sit with the orchestra and they are doing things along. It works out that. beautifully. I love that. Oh. Talk about multitasking, mm -hmm. right? Yes, this absolutely. Is good. So are you having a good time? With having a wonderful time. Yeah. I saw the show back in the 1990s, fell yeah. in love with it. 
never dreamed I'd get an opportunity to direct it. Uh, it was your choice, obviously. Oh, absolutely. And I was so blessed to get the group of musical people that we have together for the show. They're all so talented and they're wonderful to work with. Now, this is going to be at the Saratoga Town Hall in Schuylerville. In Schuylerville, correct. I mean, just so you're aware that it's in Schuylerville. That's right. It's Even though it's called Saratoga. I know. It's on yeah. the corner of uh, Route 29 and R Route 32. So do, do they have a theater there? Yeah. Well, actually, it's a courtroom by daytime, and we create a theater out of it. So uh, that, that must make for some interesting court <laughs> sessions if your set is up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually have to flip the platforms out of the way so they can have court I next figured week, that was so. <laughs> That's how it works, yeah. So that's nice, and you got that nice space. All the yes. seating is there, of course. We're very and blessed and very fortunate to have so the So do the, the orchestra sits in the jury? <laughs> <laughs> no, they sit in our pits, oh, okay. so, so to say. Yeah. I just wondered if they were going to be jurors as well. <laughs> Talk about multitasking. I but know. anyway, uh, so you're going to be doing it just for one weekend. Is that's that correct. correct. And that's good because then that way you can set up the set for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And right. Weekend. Yeah, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The uh, matinee on Sunday. Yes, yeah, right. Two o'clock matinee on Sunday and 7.30 on Friday and Saturday. Great. Mm -hmm. So this is exciting. How big is your cast? Is that is that the photo that we had? Was that? Either. That's the entire cast. Okay, that, yeah, that's all the principals. Yes. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah. They, they've been pretty good to work with. Wonderful <laughs> to work with. <laughs> okay, really, good. really. And they all sing, I, I take it. Very talented singers. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. What's your next production, or do you know? We're working on uh, figuring that out. We're going to do a play in the fall, okay. and then we'll be doing our major musical next year. is our 40th anniversary. So we'll be on the uh, stage at the Scaliville High School. Oh, okay. So, so good, good. you're going to have a big crowd. Yes, then. we yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. So let's hope that you have a huge crowd for this one as well, for we three, three nights, yeah. and, or two nights and one afternoon to do baby and and you know this is good for any age mm -hmm. you know yeah i would even say even the grandparents can come and say Phew, yeah it's over with i would say 12 <laughs> 12 and older yeah. would make sense yeah. because yeah. of the subject yeah the subject mm -hmm. matter of course okay great well i have to say break a leg thank right. you very thank much you. thank you yeah. for having us thanks Anne. for coming I'm, it's always a pleasure to bring in groups that were, are doing such creative work mm -hmm. in our communities and making it a vibrant community because of that right. thank you yeah, yeah. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about Irish soda bread and maybe more, so stay tuned.